Now with Election Day Tuesday, voting is already underway for school committee seats across our state. And in Bangor, five people are running with just two seats open. New Center Maine's Hannah Yashivi joins us live from Bangor with a look at each of the candidates. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Chris and Tori. All of the five school committee candidates here in Bangor running for a seat have children who go to a Bangor school. We start with Sarah Luciano. Her son goes to school right here at Fruit Street School. Her agenda starts with access. And for me, access spans several different points. It's access to things like services, um, ideas of what would help their children uh, facilitate their learning, things like 504 plans, but it's also access to things like internet resources. And Luciano's push is to help parents get that access. And I know that our community is filled with those people, and I'd love to get all of us working to turn to everybody near us who might need help and say, what do you need? How can I help? For candidate Carrie Smith, the concern is about all the changes students have been going through due to COVID. I'd like to help them get back to a sense of normalcy, but I, I really want to be a voice for the parents. I think the parents don't necessarily feel included when new um, curriculum is changed or presented. Smith says with a new superintendent leading the way, she wants to be hands on. I'd really like to help the kids get back to just being able to focus on academics and maybe leave some of the social pressures, you know, um, out of school. Also running Eric Crawley. His biggest concern the decline in mental health anxiety, especially at younger and younger ages. Uh, the rise of social media and the effect that the pandemic had on the, I would say, more use of social media during the pandemic when they were stuck at home. Crawley coaches youth sports. He says being involved in kids' lives is something he truly enjoys. I love the Bangor schools and I know how great they are and I want to continue that. Emka Schessler John Rowe is running in part to improve how schools are keeping parents in the know. How do you best reach out to parents? How do you make sure the proper message is received at the right time through the right media in order to get that information out there? And I have a background in communication and public relations, and I thought this is where I can put those skills to good use. Schessler John Rowe also wants to focus on teachers. We need to figure out how we support the teachers so that they can focus the most on educating the kids and helping them to reconnect with their community. Fresh off a seat on the Bangor City Council, Ben Sprague is now on the school committee ballot. Bangor's got a great academic program. It's part of the DNA of the school system. It's part of who we are, but we also really need to focus on the mental side as well, the mental health side and the, the overall well-being of the kids in our schools. His goal is to help better support kids with an academically driven school system. Certainly there's a lot of pressures on these kids, so I'd uh, certainly like to be involved to try to help continue Bangor's academic success and also really support the overall social and mental well-being of these kids. These five candidates all hoping to get your vote this next Tuesday or sooner if you're voting early. And I have more detailed information on each of the candidates for those of you who are still trying to decide who to support. Chris and Tori.